today I am going to discuss about bone marrow. First of all, we will look about the contents uh, I am going to discuss today. What is bone marrow? Then classification of the bone marrow, changes in the bone marrow with age, structure and then the functions of the bone marrow. Now, first of all, what is bone marrow? As you can see, that is a very much vascular in nature. This is a, a figure of a human bone marrow. Now, the bone marrow is a soft gelatinous tissue present within the bone. As the name implies, bone marrow means the marrow which is present inside the bone. Now, what is marrow? It is a very soft and the gelatinous tissue. It fills the bony cavity. Regarding the classification of the bone marrow, you can see in the uh, figure that uh, there are two parts of the bone marrow. Part one is the red bone marrow and the second one, so this is the red bone marrow you can see and this is the yellow bone marrow. This part is the yellow bone marrow and the other part is the red bone marrow. So, we can see that the, we can classify the bone marrow into two parts that is the red bone marrow and the yellow bone marrow. Now, if we compare between these two bone marrow, so the red bone marrow is highly vascular in nature and the reddish color of this red bone marrow is basically the presence of, uh, due to the presence of hemoglobin within the myeloid cells and the main function of this uh, red bone marrow is to produce different type of blood cells. We know that there are basically three type of blood cells, red blood cells or the erythrocytes, white blood cells or the leukocytes and the platelets or the thrombocytes. Now regarding the yellow bone marrow, it is basically uh, produces the fat and the cartilage and the color of the yellow bone marrow is due to the presence of carotenoids. So the uh, color of the red bone marrow is due to hemoglobin, the color of the yellow bone marrow is due to carotenoids. Now we will see that how the bone marrow changes with age. If we see that uh, from the infant age, as the age progresses towards the adult, the amount of the red bone marrow gradually decreases and it is replaced by the yellow bone marrow. As we can see in this figure that in when the person is in infant stage, that is from the 0 to 1 years, almost the total cavity of the bone is filled up with the red bone marrow. Now, as the children as the child grows, that is from the child stage to the adolescent stage, that 10 to 20 years, we can see if we compare that almost all the part of the shaft or the cavity of the bone is filled up with the uh, yellow bone marrow. And in the adult age, that means the 20 plus age, only red bone marrows are present in the head region of the bone. Otherwise, the total cavity is filled up with yellow bone marrow. structure of the bone marrow. Now regarding the structure of the bone marrow, we can see that uh, different types of cells are present in the bone marrow. As you can see here, different types of cells like myelocyte, erythrocyte, uh, then uh, normoblast with the dividing uh, nucleus and all, and all these cells are give rise to the different type of blood cells. As you can see here, that how the different type of blood cell give rise to the cellular components includes the myelocyte, adipocytes and all. Stem cells first become the precursor or the blast cell. Precursor means from which the other cells are produced. Now normoblasts give rise to erythrocyte, myeloblasts give rise to granulocytes, that means the leukocyte which contain the granules and the platelet forms the megakaryocyte. Now the functions of the bone marrow. As uh, we can see that uh, regarding the functions of the bone marrow, the main function of the bone marrow is to uh, produce different type of blood cells. Now from the red bone marrow comes the hematopoietic stem cells, that means which is the mother cell of all the other blood cells. Now this hematopoietic stem cells is further divided into myeloid progenitor cells which give rise to platelet, eosinophil, basophil, neutrophil, monocyte and erythrocyte and the lymphoid progenitor cell which give rise to T cell and B cell. 
and the other part is to provide the information about the iron stores of our body that how much iron is present inside our body which will further help us to produce the hemoglobin. Now time to test yourself friends. There are few questions given here which you have to answer by yourselves and if you can answer it properly without uh, uh, seeing the uh, slides again then uh, you will understand that you have understood the total slides in a very fine way. So thank you very much for your attention, for your patience uh, watching and uh, keep in touch. Thank you. Bye-bye.